guys, Braun here, and a while back I made a video in which I tried to determine which region had the best water types, electric types, psychic types, and so on. Well, now it's time to do the opposite. We're gonna do quick maths and determine which region has the worst assortment of Pokemon from each type. Does Johto have the worst normal types and does Kalos have the worst rock types? No, because I wouldn't straight up spoil the video during the intro. Now, while in the other video I got my answers by analyzing the top 4, 5, or 6 Pokemon of each type in every region, and I didn't really count the rest so that the quantity mattered less, in this video I'm simply going to take all the, let's say, grass types in a region, give them each a score from 1 to 10, and average the scores. The region with the lowest scores for that type wins, or technically loses in this case. That way, it's fair. Of course, it's still subjective since I'm the one ranking the Pokemon, but it's based on the objective criteria I set. Regardless, the video is for fun and nothing I say here is definitive proof of a region's superiority or inferiority. Pre-evolved Pokemon only count in the ranking if they're more iconic than their evos. Regional forms are going to be part of their new region, but only for the new type they have, and forms only count if they last throughout the entire battle, regardless of conditions. Make sure to check out the best Pokemon list later, and let's start with the normal type. Normal is the second most abundant type, so it's a bit hard to process, but second place goes to Kalos, with an overall score of 6.25 in the normal department. Heliolisk and Pyroar are average Pokemon, pretty cool, but this score was dragged down by less favorable Pokemon. But in first place with 6 points is Galar. I love Obstagoon and Dubwool is a fine Pokemon, but Ndidi is lackluster and Greedent really just dragged down the average considering it's potentially the least popular Pokemon in the region. This is the worst batch of normal types. Water is even tougher. As the most abundant type, every region is gonna have amazing water types, including the losers. Second place is Sinnoh, with 7.25 points. And yet, it has some awesome water types like Palkia and Empoleon. Even Rotom Wash and Floatzel help the region out. But Fione, Biberol, and Luminion are among the least popular water types in existence. The first place spot really hurts though, cause Unova has my favorite water type, Samurott. It also contains my least favorite water type, Semipore. Coupled with Swanna, Basculin, and a bunch of water types that fans don't get too excited about, and you have the worst assortment of water type Pokemon. Fire type was also challenging. Hoenn was going to get the number one spot if Primal Groudon didn't count, but since I'm counting held item forms, Groudon boosts Hoenn quite a bit. You'd think Sinnoh would end up here, but all three of its fire types are solid. In the end, Kalos gets the number one spot with 7.75. It's not a clear winner, it just means that each region has such a solid bunch of fire types, and Kalos has a few of the less popular ones, I guess. It's hard, but can you blame me when Kanto, Johto, Unova, and Alola have amazing fire types? And even though Galar has two fire types, Sentascorch and Colossal are among the most iconic in their region. We really are focusing on quality over quantity, but fighting is more straightforward. Johto loses with 7.5. Both of these are great, but that's it. Other regions have a lot of greats and no duds. Flying has Alola as runner-up with 7.5. Nothing bad, but other regions have beloved legendaries or in Sinnoh's case, a bunch of badass flying types. The worst flying types though seem to be in Unova. It has my personal favorites like Braviary, Archaeops, and I personally love uh, Sigilyph. But tons of people have problems with the Kamis and Swubat and Swana just don't hit the mark. Again, no terrible Pokemon here, flying types are generally cool, but when Hoenn has Rayquaza, you can't really fault it for Swellow, which is still pretty sweet. Grass has two regions in second place. Kanto with 7.6 has a lackluster showing with Venusaur carrying the team, and even then it's the least popular of the Kanto starters. Sinnoh was second too, with the same amount of points. The top 5 is undoubtedly awesome, but the bottom 3, Cherum, Wormadam, and Carnivine put it on the list. But Kalos ends up losing. It has 7.5, and I personally don't know why. But all these Pokemon are great. No bad Pokemon here, I guess other regions simply have better grass starters and even some legendaries that are grass types to help them pull through. I'm serious. I look through them all and I'm still looking to make sure I'm right, because the 4 Pokemon we're looking at right now are far from bad. Poison's easier. Unova is second place with a 7. Garbodor is one of the least popular Pokemon in existence. Amoongus is good in battle, but generally unpopular. And Scolipede is the only one here that is all around great. But Hoenn takes the cake with 6.6. Seviper is cool, and Swalot's okay at best, while Dustox is great as a Pokemon, but nobody ever wants to use or keep one. Electric was weird. In the end, a bunch of regions have tons of electric types to choose from, while the second and first place don't. Kalos is second with a 7. Heliptile is nice, and Dedenne is cute, but that's it. Hoenn, though, has Mainectric, a mighty fine Pokemon, but that's pretty much it. 
Plus on mine and are what I believe to be the least popular Pikachu clones. 6.5 Ground is the craziest case on this list. I ran the numbers multiple times and yet there's a three-way tie for number one. Number two at least is easier to understand. Johto with a 7.75 isn't bad, just nothing crazy except for Steelix and a personal favorite, Donphan. But for number one, with 7.5 is Kalos, Alola, and Galar. Apparently the last three gens don't release enough ground types for some reason. Kalos has a 10 out of 10 Zygarde with a 6 Diggersby. Alola has two just fine ground types. Same thing in Galar, nothing wrong with, th with these two. But when you only have two and neither of them are top tier Pokemon for that region, you end up with a region on the worst Pokemon of each type video. It's just simple math. Other regions have tons of ground types with maybe only one stinker. Check it out for yourself later. Psychic is different because a lot of the regions have awesome Psychic legendaries that prevent them from ending up on this unfavorable list. But the runner-up Kalos with 7.5 has some nice Psychic types, Malamar is a personal favorite of mine, and I think Hoopa Unbound is great, but Meowstic isn't anything special and Delphox is among the least popular starter Pokemon. But the big loser by only 0.1 point away is Unova. It has tons of Psychic types, but only a few are unanimously loved. The rest are either average or controversial, even if I'm fine with them. Rock is easy, Johto loses with 7.2. It has Tyranitar, which gets as many points as it can get, but every other rock type in this region is subpar. Sure, Shuckle is neat, but aside from the meme, most wouldn't really give it the time of day. Ice was easy too, especially since the same region is the loser. With 6.6, .6, Johto isn't looking too good in the ice department. The only fully evolved ice typed present is far from amazing. Bug type begins our trend of regions only having one line of a specific type. Kalos wins, or loses, with Vivian, but whenever this happens I make sure to give a second place pick, and that is Kanto. Only one of these is desirable, and it's green. Dragon is as interesting. Kanto and Johto only have one fully evolved dragon. Dragonite gets second place since it's considered a better Pokemon by fans, while Kingdra takes first place for Johto. Nothing wrong with it at all, but Dragon is the type with the highest average ranked Pokemon. Literally all the other regions have badass legendaries or even more pseudos to strengthen their scores. But once again, when the losers have only one Pokemon, a runner-up is placed. Galar is that region. Dragapult is amazing, top 5 Pokemon in the region. Eternatus is cool, but we don't fully understand it yet, and Duraldon, Appleton, and Flapple are great Pokemon, but compared to other dragons they're slightly below average. And slightly below average for a dragon is like an 8 out of 10 so it's all good, but the score is further muddied by the Galarian fossils. No matter how well Dracovish is in battle, these two fossils are in my opinion clearly not better Pokemon than even the lowest ranked dragon in other regions like Altaria, Dragalge, Drampa, and even Drudigan. Once again, other regions have stuff like Rayquaza, Zygarde, and entire trios of dragons to boost the overall points for that region. Ghost is literally the same case as Dragon. Johto and Kanto only have one and it's pretty obvious that Gengar is a better Pokemon, so Johto loses and Kanto is an honorable mention. The other honorable mention has the worst ghost types among the regions with multiple ghost types, Hoenn. Nothing wrong with any of them, but they either evolve further in order to become better, or are Shedinja, who is probably the riskiest fully evolved Pokemon to use. Dark would go to Kanto, but it literally has no Dark types. Kinda unfair to make it the first place region, so it gets second place. First place now goes to Alola, with 6.8. I love Guzzlord, and Incineroar has grown on me immensely over the past few years, but Alolan Muk, while perhaps better than Cantonian Muk, isn't a top tier Pokemon, and Alolan Raticate, and especially Persian, don't help tip the scale. Even if they did, it wouldn't be enough. All the other regions simply have better dark type Pokemon. Steel goes to Kanto with a Soul Magneton, and you know the rules. A second place goes to Kalos. Aegislash is one of the best mons competitively, and Klefki is unexpectedly great in battle as well. But as Pokemon in general, without focusing on battle prowess, these Pokemon simply can't hold up to the more creative and traditionally monstrous steel types that other regions have. The top two steel types of other regions alone are more beloved than Kalos's steel types. And now Fairy. It was the hardest since most early regions have very little fairy types to choose from. Unova has one, but Whimsicott is great, Sinnoh's Togekiss is amazing, and Hoenn's Gardevoir alone is the best, and Mawile doesn't drag it down either. But Kanto gets second place for worst fairy types. Clefable and Wigglytuff, at the very least, embody what the fairy type is all about, but Mr. Mime ruins the overall score. However, Johto gets number one with 6.5 points. Azumarill is a great Pokemon, but Gramble is below average. Perhaps if they had just one more fairy type on par with Azumarill, they could have switched places with Kanto. I was considering putting Togepi here, but 
It just didn't feel right, honestly. It's a baby Pokemon you want to evolve, so it wouldn't really help Johto's case. But now let's tally the points and find out who got the most. Just like golf, the one with the most points is the loser. Whenever a region got first place in a category, they got two points, while second place in a category gives you one point. The region with the least amount of points and zero first place wins is Sinnoh. That means Sinnoh is the real winner. Apparently it has the most balanced amount of Pokemon for each type and doesn't slack off when it comes to representation. And you know that I'm not being biased here since Sinnoh is right in the middle when it comes to how I would rank each region's Pokemon in general. Next is a tie with 5 points, and only 2 times in 1st place is Galar and Alola. Which is awesome! Pokemon's newest generations aren't slacking off when it comes to making sure we have a good batch of each type to choose from, even when they have small dexes to begin with. Next is another tie between Hoenn and Unova, with 7 points and only 3 times in 1st place. They're among the regions with the most amount of Pokemon, so I'm sure that helps. But it also dragged them down a tiny bit, because the more Pokemon, the more duds. Kanto is 3rd place, with 8 points, but it was only in 1st place once. It was in 2nd place the most because there's a huge type disparity in Kanto. You'll have a really awesome Pokemon grouped together with some bottom of the barrel mons in the same type. Kalos has 12 points, and was in 1st place 4 times. It has the least amount of Pokemon. The dex is very balanced, but that means a lot of the Pokemon are simply, at most, above average, without a good deal of extremely amazing Pokemon to tip the scales in Kalos' favor, when up against the batches of legendaries, starters, and top tier Pokemon in other regions. But the region with the worst Pokemon of each type is Johto, with 13 points and 6 times in 1st place. We already knew this, the Johto games kinda rely too much on Kanto Pokemon and there are barely any Pokemon to choose from. A ton of them are half-baked and only get cooler, more powerful evolutions in later games. So entire types in Johto are dominated by pre-evolved Pokemon and single stage mons. You'll get them next time Johto. But if you enjoyed this time, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I hope you check out the video I made about the regions with the best Pokemon of each type. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and check the description for all the music I use, the t-shirts I made for you guys, and my Patreon. You can also click the join button to get cool rewards like seeing my videos days early, discounts on merch, and cool Pokemon icons near your username. I'll see you guys very soon.